This is verse 56 of the 11th chapter of the Gospel of John. John has told us that as the festival of Passover is approaching and nearing, that some people have gone up to Jerusalem from the surrounding country, and they're there in order to go through some kind of preliminary purification rites in anticipation of the Passover celebration. And it seems that the it's those that he's speaking of now who are, of course, aware of Jesus. He's a famous person by this time, and they're speculating as to whether or not Jesus may, in fact, uh, show up for this. And so we have John telling us at Zetun, this is from Zeteo, it means to seek, often used in the New Testament in a somewhat negative sense, though not always. This is the third person plural, uh, imperfect active indicative. So they were seeking would be the idea. Uh, un, therefore, they were seeking, therefore, tone yesun, the Jesus, literally, the definite article often used with a proper name. So they were seeking Jesus, kai, the connective, elegon. This is from lego, I say. It's the third person plural, imperfect active indicative. So they were seeking and were saying. And then met from meta means with, takes the genitive, uh, and here it's used with the genitive uh, reflexive pronoun. So with themselves, or they were saying among themselves, back and forth in their conversations, in preposition takes the dative to, the dative uh, singular neuter uh, article with hero, which is the neuter noun for temple, heron, referring to the uh, larger structure of the temple, probably in some of the outer courts of the temple. So they're, they're standing around, you get the feeling here, having conversations among themselves, uh, wondering about it. Heste cotes, this is from uh, Histe me, it means uh, to stand. This is a perfect active participle, so it uh, gives the impression they had been standing around and continued to do so in this conversation. It's the masculine plural nominative, so it's referring back to the subject. Uh, the subject both of uh, both those verbs, the people who were seeking and were uh, saying, uh, doing so in the temple, standing there. And then, of course, this uh, is sort of an idiomatic way of uh, posing the question, te, the interrogative pronoun, doke, from dokeo, to think, and then humen, uh, the dative plural of the second person pronoun. So what uh, do you think among yourselves is the idea. What do you think? It's kind of a... Uh, interesting sort of uh, uh, grammatical statement here. It's the, the singular, but it uh, is applying to uh, these people, the plural pronoun. So docking among themselves, what do you think they're saying back and forth to one another? And then hoti, the connective, that, and u may. Of course, the combination of these two uh, raises the uh, sense of the uh, negativeness of it. Uh, do you not think, or don't you think, or what is your expectation, uh, the may here would uh, give rise typically to the use of the subjunctive, which is what we have here. So this is from erkamai, I come or I go. This is the third person singular, aorist active subjunctive. Uh, the idea, do you think he will come? Uh, do you think he's going to show up? Ace, preposition, tain, the accusative uh, article, uh, or tain, the feast. Of course, we've seen that word on other occasions here. Do you think he's going to come uh, into the feast? Obviously, there were people who were very interested. Jesus was a highly controversial and very well-known individual at this point, and there was a great deal of interest. This is the Passover. Of course, it's a fairly big deal. And the question was, uh, was Jesus going to appear? And of course, the answer is in the affirmative, and this is going to be that very significant Passover in which the true Passover lamb, as John tells the story, is actually going to be offered.